All right, what's going on, y'all? This is Dante Nine K. I wanted to bring this to your attention, or bring this to you guys' attention. Yo, 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 what's going on? This is Dante Nine K from the future. Uh, what I meant to say was, what I wanted to bring to you guys' attention is the upcoming threat of scams and pretty much the scammers targeting producers mainly. So. I made uh, Punch Made Dev type beats. You know, I've been listening to some of his music for a couple months, and you know, I just started making, you know, releasing some of the beats I've been working on. So, you know, I post one of the beats, and this producer, Exactly Instrumentals, you know, he hits me up. He's talking about something. What's good, fam? This is Ethan. I want to compliment you on the Backstabbers beat. It's seriously impressive. You know, I'm assuming he's he got a like a British accent or something like that. I've been working with Punch Made Dev over at Punch Made Records and we teamed up on some of his biggest hits such as Punch Afton. And we're putting together something fresh for his next project. And I believe you have the talents and the skill to be a part of it. Would you be interested in learning more about this opportunity? I know, let me stop, let me stop. <laughs> at first, just because it was Punch Made Dev, I didn't even want to click the links for real. So that was off, off rip. I looked him up on Google. You no, know, so he's legit. Or well, somewhat. You know, you open up his Instagram. You know, you got right here. But, uh, you know, checks out. Somewhat. Still ain't really gonna click those links. Hey, Ethan, thanks for reaching out. You know, I appreciate it when I was working on it. I can literally hear your dev on it. Damn, I'm, I'm driving it. I can literally hear Dev on this. I'm heavily interested in this opportunity. See, that's where I messed up. I'm talking about some. I'm heavily. I'm heavily. I don't know damn why I never used that word in a day in my life. Heavily. I'm heavily interested in this opportunity. Best regards. And you see, I try to match it. You know. Da -da -da -da. Anyway. I'm not sure how long you made that beat, but it just popped up on my YouTube feed. You know, we're putting this project together, and I was just browsing for a little inspiration at first, but when I heard the beat I was completely blown away. So I decided to get in contact with you, and give you the opportunity you deserve man. You know, when I read that, I was actually in the grocery store, I was shopping, so I was kind of looking down at my phone, you know, you know, walking through the aisles. So as I'm reading this, I'm like, oh snap, this, is a, this might be an opportunity, but it's like reading it, it just... I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds a little too good to be true. But then again, you know, I still went along with it. I replied, I actually made it about a week ago. I've been trying to finish a couple beats and drop them in the batch over a week. And da, 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 da. So good to hear, it, man. I appreciate you going into details about your beat production process. I'm pretty interested in the new and creative ways that fellow producers get to work that will bring great value to the team here. See, another red flag. Like, I, I don't I don't know. It's like Punch Made Dev and his genre that he raps and you know the style and you know whatever he you knows stuff that he rapping about and you know you're a producer and then you're coming to me and it's like da da da, da. you're like oh let me uh, how you make your beats. So it's like I don't know, it's like I'm not trying to gatekeep, so you know, I gave him a little basic rundown, but then I told him that, you know. I'm on the road at the moment, but I'll be down to get on Zoom or FaceTime to discuss and explain more because, you know, he mentioned earlier, you know, he, he wanted my expertise, not expertise, but he, he hit me up saying that he wanted to collaborate. Mm, anyway, so he says, that's a pretty ingenuous way to go about it, man. I appreciate the insight. I'm offering you the chance to submit your best beats to Death for his upcoming project. So in my head, I'm like, okay, okay. The percentage split is 60-40 on credit, label advance, and royalties. Okay. And then it's like, there's a mandatory placement fee. And I was like, whoa, 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 what? Mandatory placement fee? I, I don't know about y'all, but Okay, I heard about, you know, certain artists, you know, to be like, oh, yeah, you got to pay me 70. You got to pay me 100 to, for me to rap on your beats. And it's like, eh, you ain't going to catch me doing that for real, for real. I'm paying, I'm paying a placement fee 
Okay, hold on, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish before I even get off into this whole rant. <clears throat> it's like... He said there is a mandatory placement fee set in place by the executives at the label. Punch made dev record. Okay. All right. Which ensures the beats are used in the studio sessions and make it to the project's official release. This opportunity is not for me, but for you, me, <clears throat> to gain recognition and potentially become one of our in-house producers, as I have a connection with some of the biggest names in the industry. Who? Like, that's so vague. Vague. This could be a great chance for you to showcase their talent. Are you interested in moving forward with this opportunity? Hell no! Nah. Teen days ago. Yeah. Uh, but don't get scammed, y'all. This is huge scam. Or if it's not a scam, this is terrible deal. Don't. Nah. If this is. Nah, I, I don't condone this. I don't endorse this. Nah, I don't support this. It's, it's honestly crazy. I remember last year seeing, you know, certain artists and mainly rappers really charging producers for placements. And it's like, that's that's crazy. But I mean, I understand their hustle, but when producers try to charge other producers for placement fees, not even for like to collaborate. I, I, if you would have said like to collaborate with him, I would have understand. But the fact that he says something about his uh his record label and punch made record i'm like nah i don't want to hear all that nah nah because if it's not coming from their official email then nah like maybe i i threw away opportunity but to me this is not how you come across so because i actually had people actual record labels hit me up and they're not gonna charge you like how does that make sense he came to me so how does it make sense for me to pay him if we're, you know, both supposed to be collaborating for a project, got to be smart than that. Got to be smart. So, anyway, y'all, that's it. <laughs> y'all stay safe out there. <laughs>